guitar players and today I'm going to show you how to play a classic called Blue Moon and we're only going to be using four open chords just four open chords now if you're brand new to the guitar this is a great song to learn because with these four chords not only can you play this song but you will be able to play hundreds even thousands of songs with just these four open chords and the chords are the G and the E minor and the C and the D and if you need to uh, see how to play these cards if you don't have a card chart you need to know how to play them just do a search here on my YouTube channel C card G card E minor and D and I have a video for each one showing you how to play these cards so if you don't know how to play them as far as the finger position just do a search for them now remember on this one it's really easy because it's just repetitive it's G D minor minor C and D. All it is. Simple as that. So to begin with, like I say, if you, you're brand new at guitar, you, you're not really uh, proficient with your strumming yet, you can use this downstroke. Just like this. Downstroke. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can do that. Uh, and then you can work up to the rhythm. But pick your guitar up, strum along with me. First of all, you need to learn the four chords the G, the E minor, the C, and D. Now I've got the capo on the second fret on this song. This is, is something that I'd highly recommend for any guitar player, but especially beginners. Get your guitar capo. Uh, they run about $18, $19, $20, somewhere in there. And they're used to change the key uh, to where they'll match up with your voice or another, uh, another singer's voice. But what they're really great for, <coughs> for beginners, <coughs> excuse me, is that they help bring the strings down. When you, when you clap it on, it brings the strings closer to the fretboard. And uh, it makes it really, really much easier to play. Okay, and then also, as you move the capo down the net, wherever you put it, if you put it down here on the fifth fret, you see the frets start getting closer and closer together as you move down. So you don't have to spread from one finger to the other on each individual fret as much. So it's great. So, by all means, get your little capo. Let me just strum over this a couple times, and then you can strum along with me. Or if you want to take off strumming with me, great. Let's. Let's have some fun. Learning guitar isn't hard, especially if you start learning these four chords and take these four chords and play, get, learn a variety of songs using them, and then you can always expand on your, on your chords. But these four chords will play, like I say, thousands of songs, just four chords. All right, let's come along with me. One more time. All we're doing it does that through the whole song okay now i'm gonna try to sing along on along with this now i'm not a singer i'm a guitar teacher but i love to sing i love to sing while i'm playing and i highly recommend it sing along while you're playing it makes you tend to make you relax and uh everything's much easier much more fun so learn to sing along when you play these songs okay and one thing learning the guitar the easiest, the best way, the quickest way is to learn chords, these four chords in particular, and songs using these four chords. The best way to start learning. That way you, you get started playing songs and really enjoy it right off the bat. Matter of days, not, not weeks, not months, not years, days. Okay, so let's do the G. Okay, and I'm gonna try to sing along, add a few words to it. Just what 
song to play and using these four cards and they're so move from one to the other the card changes just flow from G to the E minor to the C to the D okay and again if you don't know these three of uh, these four cards just do a search here on my YouTube channel uh, and you can find them G card C card D card E minor card uh, and again be sure to get your capo if you're having trouble Making the cards, which is a common problem for someone just starting out, um, being able to press the strings down and making them sound clear, uh, or having trouble with the reach, like when you're playing the C, the open C chord here, you having the reach from one to the other, stretching, using the capo as you move it down, that becomes closer and closer. Your fingers get closer and closer together, so you're not you're not spread out as much. So. Get your capo. You'll be so glad you did. And uh, when, you, when you get one, leave your comments in below. Let me know how you like it. And it's going to make a world of difference in you learning how to play guitar. Not many teachers talk about this, but I've been teaching for 40 years, over 40 years. And it, one of the two things you, you, when you first start out is being able to play the cards clearly and be able to change from one to the other. Okay? So the capo is going to help you a lot with both of those problems. And of course the strumming, I like to talk about strumming, is timing. Uh, you, you'll see a lot of uh, videos out there showing you, you know, you got to go down, down, up, down, or up, up, down, up. If you do it that way, it's going to be so hard, so totally confusing trying to create a rhythm that way. Think of, of uh, rhythm or strumming as timing. So you hear this, you can hear it. Timing, timing, like a drum, like a drum beat. And if you do it that way, you're going to find the strumming's not, not as difficult as you thought. But if you try to do it down, down, up, whatever they, the particular song is calling for, it's going to be totally confusing because you'll be concentrating on, am I doing it right down here? Am I doing down, down, up, down? And all the while you, you're doing your chord changes and those two combined, it's going to blow your mind. Totally confusing. Um... So, have fun with this song. Uh, I, I know you'll enjoy it. And again, learn, 
learn these four open cards, okay? Four open cards, G, E minor, C, and D. And you're gonna be playing songs in a matter of days. Absolutely a matter of days. If you've been struggling, uh, maybe playing uh, lead guitar, or trying to play uh, solos, or bar cards, or scales, or modes, 99% of the people want to learn, and you're probably one of those 99%, want to learn how to play guitar as quickly as possible because you don't want to spend, like I said uh, earlier, months, uh, sometimes years learning how to play. You want to get to play as fast as you can. The best way to do that is with songs and these four cards. That's it. Focus on songs using just these four cards. So learn these four cards. Learn to play them, make them sound clear like that and then learn where you can move from one to the other G and do the E minor C now let me take the capo off just show you that I'm using capo on the second fret you don't have to if you don't have a capo right now not a problem but get you one get you one uh, but you can play them right here G D e minor C G D e minor Slow this song down. You saw me standing here alone. So, like I say, the capo will will help you be able to play the cards easier and be able to move from one to the other. Uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this lesson. I'd like to see more. Uh, like like I said, the four, these four cards will allow you to play fast, easy and play thousands of songs. And you'll be playing in a matter of days. Uh, possibly by the end of the, the day or the week for sure. You'll have these cards down, making them sound clear. The idea is don't overdo, don't try to do too much. Keep it very simple. Four cards, learn to play them really well, and get you that capo, because the capo allows you to change the key. But the main thing it does is makes the cards easier to play makes them easier to get to from one one to another and uh, think of strumming as timing strumming is timing not that down up down up down down up down up for you all I miss push everything to the side if you've been going from one place to the other on the internet and not having a whole lot of success learning how to play and not be able to play a song I've had many many students come I say, I can play guitar, and I tell them, well, play, play me a song. And they say, well, I can't play a song. I say, I've been practicing all this other stuff, up down the net. Blah, 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 blah. Great, but that's not what it's all about. You want to learn a song. That is, the, that is the root to learning how to play guitar. Play cards, not notes. These are notes, okay? These are cards. The notes and the cards will intermingle. When you play with a group, a little band, you'll have a lead guitar who will play lead on the individual notes. But the cards are the backbone to playing songs. It's the cards. So learn these four cards. Leave your comments below. Let me hear from you if you have a certain trouble with something um, in learning guitar. I'm glad to answer them. I'll answer them if you leave your comments or questions below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to post at least once a week. Uh, I try to be posting uh, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week in the future. And we're going to be covering some easy songs just like this using just these four cards. That's it, using four cards. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the uh, subscribe button and the little bell symbol, and you're going to be notified every time I put up a new video. So, till next time, let's have fun learning and playing the guitar. And I'll see you then. Thank you.